To start, let's look at the basics. You are able to charge your weapon. The more you charge your weapon, the more damage you'll do, and the wider your swing will be. Here's a quick damage chart to indicate the levels of damage you'll be doing depending on how charged your weapon is. Now while fully charging your weapon here sounds like the best option, in most cases it is not. Unfortunately, when you release a fully charged swing, the animation takes longer, and this animation will prevent you from starting your next swing immediately after. Now, contrary to what you just watched here as I smash those rocks, during a fight, you do not want to be stationary. To minimize the risk of missing a swing, which can be crucial in melee combat, the best approach is to always stay moving. By staying constantly moving, you make yourself a harder target, and it allows you to follow your opponent with your swing, or enables you to hit multiple players at the same time, which can be very useful. But remember, these swings can still hit your teammates. To hit multiple players at the same time, you'll want to spin around in a circle as you release your swing. This will maximize the radius of your attack, and it'll hit everyone around you. In these cases, it does not matter who gets hit first. Whoever is struck by an attack, no matter which order, or how far into the swing, will take the same amount of damage. Now, let's look into how these attacks can affect your movement speed. To start, the light attack. This is anything really below 50%, as it will not affect the player's speed or apply any impact stoppage. Next is the medium attack. This will be a minimum of 50%, and this will affect the player's speed partially and apply a slight stoppage. I'm going to lump in the 75% attack in here with the medium attacks, as this will greatly affect the player's speed as well and stop their movement briefly. Now lastly is the 100% attack. This will completely reset the player's movement speed and stop their movement briefly. To start, when you're chasing a player, you always want to hit them with an attack that is 50% charged or more to prevent them from escaping. As you can see here, the player is attacked by a light attack and is still able to keep running away. Now, medium to 75% attacks are effective enough to slow a player down enough that you're able to land a second swing quickly after typically trapping them in a slow lock as you constantly hit them and they will not be able to escape. These are the preferred attack when chasing a player. Heavy attacks are the most devastating to a player's movement, but against a player in motion or out of range are the least optimal. It takes the longest to charge before you're actually able to hit the player, and there may be enough time for them to escape your range. So unless you're on top of them already, these are not incredibly effective for first hit during chases. You'll move slower as your weapon is out as well, and you're charging. Now that's all for chasing a player with a melee weapon. Let's look at some additional things to avoid for melee combat. First of all, do not go into a fight with your fists. A fully charged swing only does 140 damage. That's less than half the damage of a 50% swing with a melee weapon, so you will not win that fight. Alright, to the next one. There are a few occurrences where a player will have an animation for standing up such as being revived, hitting a mine, or being hit by an explosive crossbow. Any type of ragdolling effect, really. Until they are fully standing, they are unable to be affected by ailments or take any incoming damage. During this animation, you'll want to fully charge your swing and wait until they are standing before you hit them. Alright everyone, that's all today for dealing damage with a melee weapon. I hope you found this useful. Have a good one!